the, as the aspect of mortality and the... Aspect of immortality. Ahead of the Caribbean cruise, in my old train of thought, when not considering my physical mortality and knowing that it has some ending at some point, in leading up to the Caribbean cruise, I would have normally, for example, just booked like a concierge level cabin. And that was what I no longer wished to experience. And so in context of the perspective of mortality, my old train of thought would say, I would never spend $16,000 to purchase a, a royal suite on a cruise for eight days to experience the Caribbean. But if I knew that my physical existence was finite in that sense, would I absolutely go and do it? And the answer to that was hell yes. And so I did it. But it also had me play with this. With factors that aren't real and with a point of attraction that doesn't exist. So you couldn't possibly get a real read on it. It's like trying to trick the universe. So consider this balance is what we talk about all the time. And the primary balance that we are encouraging you about is the vibrational balance between you and your inner being that what you're asking for that your inner being now is holding as dominant focus and that the law of attraction is supporting through cooperative components coming is what you're focused upon and that blending is ultimate balance that's aligned that's clarity that's vitality that's exhilaration that's satisfaction that's upper half of the emotional scale moments in time it's also balanced to breathe and exhale and breathe and exhale and not do either one of those in excess don't breathe in a lot more than you breathe out you'll hyperventilate and you'll pass out don't hold your breath that's not good either in other words in and out in and out don't spend more than you have in other words even up to your credit limit may be considered what you have but keep yourself in balance don't try to cram more activity into a moment in time than the moment in time will allow Esther explains I shine in a crisis well she can dig in she can make a lot happen but she doesn't have fun while she's doing it in other words you push yourself to excess while we're encouraging you to find that balance don't eat more than is comfortable for your body to deal with don't eat in excess and then don't deprive your body in other words balance 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 you thrive when you're thinking in terms of balance and you understand your balance when you let the satisfaction factor be the indicator that you are in balance so balance 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 so you decide that you're going to go on a cruise and you choose something that is in balance you don't want to spend more than you can comfortably do because there are other things that matter to you so the satisfaction factor if you're in alignment with your inner being you will have far more satisfaction finding balance than you would if you stress yourself because your inner being is never asking you to do something that is out of balance with who you are the satisfaction in the moment is not about the cabin that you've chosen it's about the balance that you have you might say I'm gonna spend almost no time in that cabin that's the way we began this seminar and ended the last one what is it that you are using in your now as your excuse to not allow yourself to do so many of the things that you want to do because you've made up your mind that it needs to be this way and this way and this way and the reason that you've made up your mind that it has to be this way and this way and this way is because that's the way life has touched you so far that's as far as you can think and here it is we love you so much you don't trust your vortex and the reason you don't trust your vortex we're not saying that you don't always trust your vortex the reason that you don't or might not be trusting your vortex is because it hasn't manifested yet and you don't have the see it hear it smell it taste it touch it evidence that makes you believe it but anything that you feel enthusiastic about means that you're a vibrational match to it and we would train ourselves through life experiences to follow that feeling of enthusiasm not trying to overcome a feeling of deprivation it's not something that we could write a book about and say do these things and your life will work because that isn't how it works we can say seek to feel good as much as you can and your life will get better and so you just can't 
think your way through this it will make you crazy you can feel your way to it you feel your way to it you see and so we are certain that the man that paid 92 or 90 whatever it was thousand dollars for the Taylor Swift ticket was in balance or he would not have done it and maybe the conversation with someone who was shortage consciousness oriented and motivated maybe it took him into a feeling of guilt and made him feel uncomfortable about the ticket for a minute and maybe he did go sell it but that's calibrating to a human that's not calibrating to the source energy that called him that called him forward into who he is and what he wants and so yeah we get it you've been a thinker for a long long time you think you reason reason is such a good thing and you find logic in what you do that's a really good way to live life and you use your guidance system really effectively well you do you use your guidance system effectively well but when you were striking the balance between mortality and immortality when every word we speak is to call you towards your feeling of immortality and then we pointed out the difference between the finite and the infinite in other words we know it's hard to go it's hard to go where manifestation doesn't show you and your manifestation shows you birth and death so your manifestation make you believe more in birth and death we get that but we don't believe in the beginning and ending of you with your birth and death because we see your ongoing vortex that vortex is calling you and if you will let it call you you'll have just the best time right up until the time that you have that glorious experience of re-emerging in the non-physical we love you so much you cannot joyfully anticipate what you believe is death you don't have it in you your physical experience doesn't let you you give people you hate the death penalty if you knew what that was you wouldn't give it to them <laughs> you do not have good feelings about death you don't have good feelings about death you are immortal you are eternal beings you are infinite beings and there is enough abundance to keep you satisfied just like air is in and out and in and out and in and out and in and out so is abundance so is abundance and there is a starvation quality to hoarding rather than accepting that there will always be enough 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 until you can pay ninety two thousand dollars for a Taylor Swift ticket because there is always enough and don't make us go through the hundreds of thousands of people that benefit from the income that flows into those concerts and the IRS <laughs> oh boy do they like a concert like that because they not only get 50 ish percent of everything that she makes but of everybody that works along the way for it in other words you want to talk about someone who's figured out infinite well-being you can't sort this out with your thoughts but you can feel your way there we've enjoyed this interaction immensely it's a good time for a segment of the session.